Hey community! <laughs> My name is Linda, I'm a youth coordinator at PRISM and I'm just here to give a quick little update on the CSA. <laughs> so as you know there was, well if you have, if you wasn't aware there was a city council committee meeting today during the march that's why some of us kind of stepped off of the march and what happened today was that there were they wanted to make a committee to make changes to the CSA. We don't want changes. We're done with changes. If this bill is watered down, we don't even want to pass it. So at the end of the meeting, um, at first there was no community members on this working group list, on the commission. Now we have three community members added, but they're either gonna be chosen by Ponte or Mary Kay Harris, and hopefully, Hopefully, um, I volunteered to be on the commission, also as Justice and Shauna. So, and Sophia can add more to that. Yeah, so um, like Linda said, so my name is Sophia. I work with Direct Action for Rights and Equality. Um, so as Linda said, um, Mary Kay is gonna hold Aponte accountable to choose three community members who are actually from the community and who have been working on this for the past three years. Um, so hopefully that's what we get. What we do know is that in the meeting today we saw a lot of um, discussion around this idea of if it's, if it's passed, how will we implement it? How will we get the police to agree with this? All of this whole hum how. And the, the truth is that it's not passed yet. So the point of this committee was originally um, to work on a past CSA. If the CSA were passed, then this committee is relevant. Then this committee makes sense. Um, but today what they did was change the nature of that committee um, so that they could make changes. So we shouldn't even have to be having this discussion, you know? We shouldn't be after talking about how we're gonna hold them accountable. We've been talking for, for three years, we've been talking, right? So this really was a moot point. We did, we did win something small, right? Which is that our voices get to be at the table. But um, that should not have been a fight in the first place. So um, what we're gonna do for the next month is we're gonna do what we've been doing. We're gonna keep pushing. We're gonna keep showing that the community cares about this safety act and that we're not gonna pass any watered down bill that isn't what the community put at the table, right? So what I want you guys to do is, is keep, keep an eye on your city council members because uh, we know the ones who've been there for us, who've had our backs for the past three years. We know the ones who've been ready to get at the table. We know the ones who, who actually voted to su support the CSA um, from the beginning. We know who they are, and we're not. We're going to make sure that that we have their backs, right? Like Councilman, Councilman Jackson, amongst others, Mary Kay Harris. You know, they they've been having our backs since the very start. So so we need to keep them, um, keep support them as our community. And so what I want you all to do is is remember the date, June first. Um, put that in your calendar because that's the day that we're going to be at City Hall. And we're going to show up and turn out and show that, that we can pass the CSA and the community built this bill and we're going to get it, right? So June 1st, put that in your calendar. Thank you.